Welcome back one and all to Yester Gaming for the second part of my gaming overview of The Simpsons Hit and Run for the PS2. Now of course if you haven't watched the first part of this overview, I would strongly suggest that you follow this suggested video up here to check it out before we go any further, as there will be spoilers involved. That hurts. Now hopefully with anyone who hasn't watched the first part gone, let's have a quick recap of what occurred. Springfield had been invaded by wasp cameras which were spying on everyone and a new cola drink had been introduced. We started playing as home and free roamed around the town a bit and did some story missions which resulted in us accusing Mr Burns of spying on everyone, only to find out this wasn't the case. You're spying on Springfield with your black vans and surveillance cameras. Black vans? Hmm. Aren't they connected with some sort of pizziola concern? What? They were only pizza vans! In level 2, we took control of Bart on his hunt for the Bone Storm 2 video game. And following the story missions, we learned that Professor Frink has the last remaining copies. But after we ask him for one, he offers us the chance to play with a giant robot to get the remaining parts that he needs for it. So, of course, we go hunt these parts down, and after we've got them all, Bart goes and sees the robot, which quickly attacks him before Bart's then abducted by aliens. I never would have guessed! Uh-oh. Yes! Everybody do the Bartman! So with all that caught up, let's hop back into the action and see what's happened to Bar. For level 3, we're given control of Lisa in the coastal region of Springfield on her hunt for information on what happened to Bar. But rather than going into the comic book store to do the story missions, I instead decided to go collectible hunting first. I start by checking out a gag before I then go to the roof of the comic book store to grab a collector card. Mine, all mine. Then it's just a short drive down to go find Mr. Skinner's bonus mission. Principal Skinner, Bart's missing. Bart's gone? What a tragedy. Uh, to get your mind off this terrible loss, which we all feel, why don't you run a few uh, errands, or as I call them, grief helpers for me? But Bart's only missing. Well, looking for that little monster, I mean, treasure uh, can't help anything. You might as well pick up Mother's Dry Cleaning for me. This mission is just a series of mini time trials where I have to dart around and collect the items that Skinner wants, which doesn't sound that difficult. However, it's the return leg back to the starting area that is difficult, as the time limit is so tight that I fail with about a second from the finish line. Stupid glass ceiling! Restarting, I have high hopes until a glitch forces me over a fence that I then can't escape, meaning I have to leave my car to force myself to fail the mission so I can restart it. I blame white males for keeping me down. But as they say, third time's a charm, as I finish with a few seconds to spare and I win Skinner's sedan as a prize. There, we've got Mother's Laundry, dinner for Ed and me, and uh, some personal items. Now, if you can just help me find a place that carries Mother's favorite canned aspic. This is ridiculous! I can't keep doing errands for you! I've got to find Bart! For helping me with my ridiculous errands, I suppose I owe you something. If you need help recovering your brother's body, uh, living body, give me a call. Oh yeah! I got my mojo working now! Next up, I stop off at Nelson's race, and my main competitor is Three, Marge. two, loser says what? What? Ha ha! One! Go! I don't have a great start to my race as I crash quite a lot on the first and second lap, but with a bit of luck, Marge and another car crash in front of me, and I'm able to pass them and hold the lead till the finish. I'm speechless, Lisa. That was better than you have any right to do. I then drive down to the bowling alley, where I know there's a collector car that I just have to leap across to grab, before I then do the mega jump down into the docks. 
exploring the docks a little bit, I kill a few wasps before I then climb the lighthouse to grab yet another collect card. Limited edition. Next up, I jump into the container ship to kill a few more wasps, watch a few gags, collect the collector card, as well as find the bonus card for this level. Armed with this bonus card, I decide to go and try and do Millhouse's race. Millhouse, are you working here? That's not so bad. I get a green cookie on St. Patrick's Day. It comes out of my paycheck. Nightboat, however, isn't that easy to control, and as a result, I end up failing one of the jumps, which causes my car to be reset. And due to the amount of damage it's also collected, I decide just to change my car and try the race all over again. Can you please pick me up? I find the race much easier than the Malibu Stacy car, however, as I complete the race pretty comfortably. And a girl, Lisa. This will be noted on your permanent record. I then make sure I buy all the cars off Guild before I go to check out the Duff Plant. But not finding much here of interest other than a wasp, I decide to go talk to Ralph to do his race. Why are you working here? Daddy says I should stay here till I learn to control myself at the hardware store. Vroom, vroom! Right. I'll just start racing. I have a poor start to my race, and despite slowly catching up to Marge throughout the whole race, I'm not able to catch up before the end, losing by just a head. Lisa, when I was a little girl, I never lost any street races. This race gives me a bit of difficulty, so I restart twice more after I have accidents in my races, before the fourth time I'm able to win easily. She must get her driving ability from her mother's side. Easy as pie. The number, that is. With the book burning down as my prize, I then head down to the dam to hunt more collectibles. The first find is the collector card on top of a water spout inside the dam, before I then head down to Camp Krusty to buy the school bus off of Otto. Otto, I know I'm a little young to be asking this. Look, I don't have any special brownies left. I ate them all. But do you think I can use your school bus? Oh, <laughs> right. Cool. Meet my price and she's all yours, little lady. I then check out a few of the gags inside Camp Krusty before I hop in my car, my drive head. round to the broken bridge, do some parkour and across it to grab the collector card on top of the totem. Ah, sweet, sweet tangible rewards. Next up, I head over to the observatory to check out a few of the gags there. <laughs> as well as to buy Lisa's outfits, choosing the comedic Florida outfit as my choice. All that's left is a lengthy drive then to the TV studios to check out what collectibles are there. There's a lot of wasps and a lot of coins to be found here, as well as after a little parkouring, the final collect card of this level. Mine, all mine. And with that done, all that's left is to head to the comic book store to start the story missions. I need to find my stupid brother. Have you seen him? Yes, yes, can't talk now. I must get the last copy of the new Itchy and Scratchy Adventures comic. It's the controversial issue in which they finally kiss. Assist me and I will aid you with your dilemma. So like I mentioned in the last video, a lot of the missions in this game are quite repetitive, as this mission is just a race to go grab a comic book, and then a little time trial back to the start line, which is quite easy and I win with no problems. Now to get this inky treasure into its Mylar Sanctuary. What about Bart? I asked you, have you seen him? I think I saw him at the Noiseland Arcade. Ugh, video games, what a waste of money. Now to go online and bid $1,000 for itchy and scratchy corn cob holders. A terrific, terrific expense. Acting on this tip, I then have a short journey over to the arcade to talk to Millhouse. Millhouse, has Bart been here? Uh, I haven't seen him. Hey, can I buy your frozen yogurt? I'll throw in two dry toppings or one wet topping. Bart's disappeared. You have to help me find him. Well, he might be a Wally Weasel. He likes the smell of the ball cage. So acting on Milhouse's advice, I do a short trip down to the ballpark to find him again. Milhouse? What are you doing here? Lisa, what a coincidence. Hey, is that a new dress? No, I've been wearing this dress for years. Now where's Bart? <sighs> I think he's at the Planet Hype. So again, following Milhouse's advice, I do a little time trial over to Planet Hype. Oh, hi, Lisa. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Stop following me. Uh, I heard Bart might be out by the Springfield sign. Perhaps you'd like to share some chewing gum. I'm starting to sense that Millhouse is an alternative motive here. But off I go again, this time to the Springfield sign. Hi, Lisa. 
My, your hair looks pointy today. Mailhouse, have you seen Bart or not? So, Lisa, do you have a date for the harvest dance? This is not a good time. It's never a good time! <laughs> Bart always hung out at the Quickie Mart. Maybe Apu has seen him. Well, Millhouse was useless to us, so let's go save Apu is of more use. Whoa, this is terrible. A very bad man is delivering roadkill to all the Krusty Burgers, which are cheaper than my Quickie Dogs. So we start helping Apu to undo what Bart helped Cletus do in the last level. Eat pickup, city folks! Once again, this is quite a repetitive mission as we've done many like this in the last video. It's quite fun from the sheer joy of doing hits and runs without any consequences. After completing this mission with no problems, I then head up to the observatory to ask Professor Frink for information about Bart. Professor Frink! Professor Frink! My brother Bart is missing! Have you seen him? Well, let's see now. Um, Bart helped me build a monster and then disappeared in a bright light. Wow, this is crazy. I need someone to talk to who's wise and learned. And armed with this information, we then go talk to Grandpa. Grandpa, can you help me find Bart? He's missing. Maybe I'm just a senile old man, but Bart's lucky red hat fell out of that black car. Wow, Grandpa, what a great clue. You showed why senior citizens are valuable members of the community. I think my baby teeth are growing back. That's why I had to punch that nurse. I better use something big if I want to take that car out. Like that school bus. Destruction missions like this are quite fun as I chase down the sedans to go find clues about where Bart is. Sadly, despite this mission being quite fun, these cars are quite hard to hit. So I have to restart after I can't destroy the last car before the time limit's up. Looks like I'm not in the 98th percentile after all. But since I know the routes the cars are going to take this time, it's much easier to guide them into areas so where I can destroy them all easily. And once I've done this, I then head down to the it's casino empty. to go talk to Police Chief Wiggum to see if he's got any more information. Excuse me, Chief Wiggum? Can you help? I've got to find my brother. Ah, uh, sorry, little girl. I'm busy collecting evidence on Jailbird. We're busting him on the three strikes law. How many strikes do you have so far? Uh, no strikes. But that's only because I'm a very, very bad cop. Now, first of all, if we're gonna go undercover, you will need a disguise. You mean like an eye patch? Hey, good one. <laughs> if we could afford a disguise like that, I wouldn't be getting paid in potato chip coupons. So what disguise do you have? Well, here's one of Ralph's old Halloween costumes. Fine, wait here and I'll get changed. After a short journey to go change into the cool disguise and then hop into the police car and follow Snake around to pick up any evidence that he drops. So with this evidence we then head back to the casino to persist for information on where Bart is. And strike three, littering. All right, we got all we need on this low life. Now, about your brother. I've seen lots of mysterious government types over at the docks. Uh, maybe they sent him on a nice cruise. They got some great package deals these days. Five buffets per boat inclusive. Thanks, Chief. You are a good cop after all. Ah, you're just saying that. Yes, I am. Amazingly, we actually got some useful information from Wiggum. So we head down to the docks to go talk to the sea captain. Chief Wiggum said there was some strange stuff going on around here. Have you noticed anything weird? You know. Black sedans, guys with dark glasses. Yeah, maybe I've seen something and uh, maybe I haven't. Render me a favor and it might jar me memory. <laughs> what favor? I've got a shipment here of live mackerel. Can ye navigate the fishies to the finest restaurants in the squid port? Those poor fish. I mean, sure I'll help. Just like in Bart's mission, we had to drive around and pick up monkeys. This time, I have to drive around and pick up fish within a time limit. It's not the best mission, but it's not the worst mission either. So I just drive around, pick up these fish, and then I return to the sea captain. Arr, thanks for delivering me catch of the day. Now, I can tell ye, I saw your brother. Really? That's great. Aye, he was in a long black limo, and ahoy! There's he drove! I'm not surprised that this says my next mission is another destruction based mission, but nevertheless we go commit the crime that this game is named after. Ow, my hair. And after frankly not a long period of time, all the limos are destroyed, so I then head back to the sea captain again. Oh god! I destroyed the limo and killed Bart! 
Har. No murderer ye be. He wasn't in the limo. He got out and he boarded that ship. Can you take me there? Nah, I hate the sea. Well, at least we didn't kill Bart, I suppose. So we then follow this tip and hop into the container ship to go find where he is. Bart, I found you. <laughs> Bart! Bart! Snap out of it! Oh, I gotta wake him up. Bart, how old are you? <laughs> What's your favorite catchphrase? Kiss my grits. <laughs> it's no use. His brain is even more broken than usual. All I can do is take you home and get you a diaper. And with that, the level is over, and I'm proud of my 100% completion. Returning Bart back home, we're then given control of Marge for the fourth level on a hunt to find information on how to cure Bart. <laughs> Bart, what's causing your Ooga Booga talk? My special little guy's Noogle has turned to Google. The whole town's gone nuts. Security cameras, mysterious vans, crop circles. There's got to be a connection. Maybe the police know something. My first stop is again chasing down Police Chief Wiggum for information. Chief Wiggum, I need you to find out what happened to Bart. Could you show me where the crop circle is? There's got to be a clue to curing Bart. Ha, ah, that's cute. I'd love to help, but I got sugar withdrawal real bad. The donut store is closed, and I got a monkey on my back screaming for Crawler. Oh, oh, he's screaming. <laughs> So hopping in the canyon now, I now have to ram the donut truck and be able to pick up donuts so that I can get information from Wiggum. Are you blind? And once they're all collected, I head back to Wiggum. Boy, for a busybody housewife, you sure get results. That crop circles at Cletus's shack. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a truck full of donuts to eat. I'm gonna need a lot of coffee. <laughs> After being told that the crop circle is down at Cletus's field, I then set my focus on a collector card that's just behind the donut shop. This will look great on our mantelpiece. For the next part, I just journey around the town harvesting coins a bit, using some of these coins to then buy Willy's tractor. I then climb the tower by the bridge, finding a collector card up here as well as another wasp. Heading onwards, I find another collector card on top of a roof. I have to try it a couple of times before I'm able to land it, but then I'm able to grab this card. All for March. And then hopping off the roof, I then find Nelson's race, finding this time that my competitor is a poo. I just go already. The first lap doesn't go that well for me, but gradually working my way around, I'm able to take the lead and win. What? I guess your life hasn't been a total waste. Venturing onwards is then not long before I come across Millhouse's race. Hello, Millhouse. What are you doing here? Patty and Selma trapped me in debt slavery, so I'm doing their job for them now. This time trial takes me through Burns' mansion, and sadly, as I'm doing the shortcut through into the power plant, I get stuck. I then have to try and move my way out of here, causing me to lose quite a few seconds and ultimately have to restart the race. Well now, who put that there? But being a lot more careful the second time, I'm able to finish with a few seconds to spare. I wish I could be happy for your success. But I can't. Deciding since I've just raced through Burns' mansion, I go in there to explore and see if there's any collectibles. Finding not only a few wasps, but also a collect card hidden behind I his portrait. End up doing it. I hope I can do something neat with this. I then head down to check out the power plant, finding little else other than a few gags and some coins, so I then decide just to go to the trailer park. Like in Homer's level, I hop onto the trailers, find that there's another collector card up here, as well as a few wasps, before I then go to buy all the cars off Gil. I then remember that there's another collector card on top of this metal bridge, so I carefully climb it, walk across the girders, and then slide down to grab it. My next stop is then when I find the comic book guy's bonus mission. Mr. Guy, what are you doing here? Well, I've been trying to convince Agnes to come make fun of school children, but she refuses to go out with me. That son of hers keeps intercepting every gift I send her and hides them at his workplace. He's a jerk and a fool. Why not just go get them back? I would, but... Well, I'm not a terribly mobile person. There I said it. Oh, I know. It's not easy being husky. Tell you what. 
I'll take care of this for you if you help me take care of some things. By the moons of Xanthor, it is a pact. The bond is made. The agreement is sacred under the vows of the knights who say... Okay, okay, I get it. Sheesh. So I race around collecting all the gifts that the comic book guy wanted to give to Agnes. Sadly, as I'm heading back to him, the police start chasing me, and they bust me just as I reach him. Oh, I don't have to pay for that. For completing the level, I get the Kremlin as my reward before I go to do Ralph's race. Little Ralphie Wiggum, how are you? Candy makes me happy, then tired. So, what are you doing here? Two ugly monsters named Patty and Soma say you have to race. This race is an interesting one, as I'm not up against a poo. I'm actually up against Professor Frink's hover car. Due to the hover car being so fast and me crashing a lot during the race, I decided it's best just to restart. For using the shortcuts more effectively the second time, and being lucky in the fact that he crashes just before the finish, I'm able to beat him and I win the clown car as my prize. Good work, Marjorie. You're finally turning your life around. Marge in charge! After completing this, I then head back to the Simpsons house to buy two of Marge's outfits, simply because that's all I can afford for now, choosing the classy outfit as my choice. And after this, I go into the backyard to grab the final collector card, before going to find the final wasp at this level, finding it in the trailer park before I go to talk to Cletus. Excuse me? I don't care if you is from New York. You ain't taking pictures of our decrapitude for no magazine, no way. No, Cletus, it's me, Marge! Marge! I follow the paranoid Cletus around, picking up anything that he drops, before then talking to him to start the next mission. You've got to help me. I have to find out what happened to my baby boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you was a city slicker. But I ain't telling you nothing, less than you help us with the harvest. So changing into the inmate uniform, I hop into Cletus's truck and drive around picking up ketchup packets. We need them ketchup packets people done throwed out to feed on during the long winter. Help me fetch them. They're all pretty easy to get except for the last one which I managed to grab with only a couple of seconds to spare. Stop that nonsense. And then after racing past the black sedan so it can't catch me, I return to Cletus's. Now about your query. My grandpappy done seed one of them corn drawings once, but he's with Allah now. You might and should ask some other old folks about it. Maybe try around the graveyard. Thanks, Cletus. Twarn't nothing. And then after grabbing the bonus car of this level, I go to talk to the Mole Man in the cemetery. Um, excuse me, Hans Mole Man. Can you help me? Shh. I'm hiding from the police. If the police find me out past curfew, they'll throw me in jail. I won't survive another night in jail. Well, I was wondering if you've ever seen a crop circle. Talk to Abe. He mentioned crop circles once. Hurry up and get to the home before the police lock the doors. I try to do this race on the quad bike, but it's simply too out of control, and I end up failing once. So then the second time, I decide just to change car during the race, so that the third time, I have a chance of winning. <laughs> Shouldn't enjoy that. This plan works as I win easily the third time, and I talk to Grandpa. Grandpa, do you know anything about crop circles? What? Huh? I can't tell you about crop circles right now. Those lousy renegades stole my pills. Without my egg relief, I'll start fighting nurses. You don't need the lawsuit. Hunting down the thieves of Grandpa's medicine, I then find Nelson. Hey, how could you hooligan steal an old man's medication? You give it back right now. Oh, we traded it to some dudes in a black car for these play dudes. Check it out, man. This one's got an interview with the guy who invented the Wawa pedal. <laughs> I start chasing down the sedan that's carrying Grandpa's pills, but sadly it gets a little bit too far away from me and it forces me to restart this mission. Oh well, I had a good run. But being a lot more careful the second time, I'm able to grab them all and head back. However, I'm ambushed on the way by yet another black sedan, which I'm able to escape luckily by using a jump. You couldn't follow a parade! And then I return to Grandpa with his pills. Here's your crazy medicine, Grandpa. Diggity! Sweet, sweet medication! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh, great. Now I need something to wake him up. So I quickly grab him some coffee from the Quickie Mart, and I'm treated to a cutscene. Maybe these will jog your memory. Ah! What? For the 
last freaking time. Tell me about the crop circles. There I was surrounded by Tojo and his Nazi henchmen, when one of them, a raccoon as I recall, hits me with a banjo. Now I never reason with a raccoon, let alone a Nazi one, so I... Grandpa, what does this have to do with the crop circle? Not a thing. Where was I? Right, now, the first crop time I rode circle. in a water car... Okay, okay. It was so long ago that I'll have to describe it in sepia tone. Well, as I recall, it was sort of a cosmic kind of thing. Shaped kind of like a planet with an old-fashioned radio antenna coming off it. A planet with an antenna? Hmm, that sounds awfully familiar. I think it was at the Quickie Mart. That's it. It was on a bottle of pop. Maybe that will jog Bart's memory. Getting a clue that Buzz Cola might have something to do with all this, I buy Marge's final outfit before I go to talk to Bart. Bart, do you recognize this design? <laughs> That's the alien mind control cola. They gave us tons of that up in the alien spaceship. They're using it to make the town go crazy. Oh, thank God! You snapped out of your trance! I was so worried. Later, I'm going to the arcade. This conspiracy goes all the way to the top. I need a little extra firepower. As Officer Marge! Oh yeah, this is my favourite music of this game. We haven't heard it since Bart's level where we were chasing around picking up monkeys. And after all this jumping around, I'm able to grab all the cans of Buzz Cola before I go to challenge Apu. Apu, I think you should be aware that you're selling a tainted cola. Where's this stuff coming from? Well, there is little here not tainted in some way. Even the astrology scrolls give poor advice. But I will get to the bottom of this. Well, it made Bart go crazy. And if I find the distributor, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Careful, Mrs. Simpson. This cola makes people do irrational things without guilt. It is as though they have bottled the effects of a raging frat kegger. That's it. I'm going after it. And any other evil cola trucks I can find. And with that, I have another hit and run mission. This time, targeting an evil cola truck. The first truck is very easy to destroy, and then I'm told to drive to Burns' mansion, where I find another one. The second truck is harder to destroy, but I'm eventually able to do it. And despite the fact that I push the third truck into the tire fire, hoping it will explode, it doesn't, so I have to sadly smash it until it explodes. And as I drive home, the fuzz are there waiting for me. You took my precious cola, Marge. It's the only thing that gives me the courage to take off my shirt in the station locker room. You're going down. But after evading them, I'm able to complete the mission and this level with 99.2%. The next level brings us back to the town centre, this time in control of a poo, doing his part to stop this evil cola. But instead of doing the story missions, I decided to travel around and get all the collectibles instead, and save the story missions for the next video. What in hell were you thinking, sir? One of the things that you'll notice is that the wasps now have shields around them, meaning they take two hits to destroy. And it also seems like they're a lot faster moving, so I have a lot of difficulty trying to hit them. By exploring onwards, I find a collector card on top of the monorail before jumping off the motorway to grab another. I wonder how many of these there are. Heading back into Uptown, I find that there's a new roof area I can access. And after finding there's a collector card up here on a sign, and then learning that there's also some trap panels involved getting to it, I'm able to grab the card before I decide to head to Nelson's race. Hello, little hoodlum. What is causing you to be standing here now? I'm supervising a bonus race, do-rag. I have an absolutely terrible start with me crashing quite a lot. However, due to the length of these laps, I'm able to gradually pass everyone and reach the finish with a good lead. You did better than the American drivers. I am American! Sure you are. That's great. And then after heading down to the stadium, I find the bonus car of this level, the monster truck, and decide to take it for a joyride. Finding Homer selling a car again, I decide to grab it while I'm here. Mr. Homer, sir, do you have an oversized vehicle that I might be borrowing? Borrowing? No. Selling to you at an insanely high price? Yes. Fine, whatever. Taking the car built for Homer, I destroy a few more wasps before I find Who Professor Fink's bonus think? mission. Excuse me, nice Mr. Shopkeeper person. Have you seen a hovering death machine? No, nothing specifically of the hovering kind, no. Oh, <laughs> 
This was to be my greatest invention since sideburns in a can. They make you handsome and lovely. What are you talking about? I call it the Hover Car TM. So don't try to steal the name, it's TM'd. I installed the onboard computer, and it came alive and attacked my person. For the love of all that's gliding, you gotta help me here. Okay, what on earth can I do? Knock the flashigan thing off the road before the authorities come and take me away again. Prisons ain't kind to pencil neck geeks like myself. They they stomp and they kick. This hover car is quite difficult to destroy as it's quite fast, but luckily in the last minute it crashed quite a lot. And I'm able to get the final hit I need just in time. Oh, no! Sadly, in my haste, I get the cops chasing me, however, so I race back to Professor Frank to stop the timer. However, the cops are able to bust me before I'm able to talk. Great work, my Hindu friend! Ugh, do not patronize my faith, okay? Sorry, terribly sorry. Uh, look, if you need a ride, instant message my cortex, by which I mean, call me. <laughs> and with that, the hover car's now mine, and I head for Ralph's race. Hey, aren't you the boy who nearly drowned in the nacho cheese? I was in the newspaper! This Six, race is against one, Bart in a sports car, and it's a very tight race as we speed around the town. But sadly, he's able to tackle me, and I can't catch him before the finish. Go cry to your elephant. Try and again, the race goes pretty much the same, apart from me being a lot more careful of Bart this time, being able to hold him off until the finish. You look pretty good out there. Is there a Mrs. Nahasa Pasa but whatever? Oh, thank the gods there is! And then journey around a bit more, checking out some gags and collecting some more coins before I find another collector card in the train yard. Who would put such a thing in such a place? And while I'm checking out downtown, I then find Millhouse's race. Hello, little customer. Are you here to help me in some fashion? Your nachos have hair in them. The hair is your protein. Okay. Well, you have to race now. It's a very tight circuit, and despite it being a very tight time limit, I'm able to win first time. Okay, Dapu, you've qualified for your license. Big deal. You still work at a convenience store. My reward is my favorite car from this game, not only because it's a pickup truck, but also because it's a modified car like you'd find in a Need for Speed game. Oh, no! Using this, I go to the mobs club to pick up a collector card, as well as grab some coins from the roof. I then hop over to the roof of Moe's to grab yet another collector card, before going inside to buy the B-Sharp outfit. I then head down to the construction site and use the lift to get up to the top. Then I do some parkour across some beams to quickly grab the final collector card of this level. I wonder how many of these there are. But this leaves me with a bit of a problem, as I still have two outfits and two cars that I need to buy if I want to get 100% completion, and I've destroyed all the boxes and all but one of the wasps. And after going online, I find many a forum thread stating this is the main problem with the game, as from level 5 onwards, you can't get enough coins from destroying buzz crates and wasps to buy all the collectibles and items. So I decide to see how hard it would be to collect enough coins to buy the rest of these items. I start driving around, smashing into things to collect coins, but I also have to watch out that I'm not getting chased by the police, as if I get busted, that's a 50 coin fine. And after deciding that this would take frankly forever to do, I decide to go and try and do the wager race of the mob holds. This time trial race has a 40 coin entrance fee, but if I win it, I get 80 coins back in return, so I decide to give it a try. The smell of fresh air is much more pleasing than the odour of the hot dog machine. This decision backfires, as I'm simply too slow the first time, and I lose my 40 coin entrance fee. But trying again, I am able to win the second time, which means I'm put back at the amount of coins I had when I started. I have brought glory to the name of Naasa Pima Petalon. I quickly decide this race is too risky for me to keep doing as it's not only a tight time limit, but also there's a high chance that the cops start chasing me, and if they bust me during it, that's another 50 coins I'll lose again. But I can't put a new plan. After learning that cars drop 10 coins when they're destroyed, I decide rather than driving around and smashing things to collect coins, instead to commit the crime that this game is named after. What are you trying to prove with this crazy driving? In this plan, I learn that I can destroy two sports cars before the cops will start chasing me. So I change car every time I've destroyed two sports cars to make sure that they don't start chasing me. Clean up in aisle one. Now I know this is going to take me a while to do, so I think I'll wrap this video up here and I'll let you know next time how long it took me to do this and whether it's worth actually trying to get all the collectible items. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and also subscribing to the channel.
If you want to check out some of the other gaming videos I've done, please consider checking out this playlist on the left. Or if you want to watch something different that I've done, please consider watching this video on the right of what Welsh Rugby used to be like before the pandemic happened. And all that's left to say now is thank you very much and have a pleasant day all.